Hi everybody, welcome back. It's so great to see you again. First of all, we've had our first bona fide cool front of the season move through the Houston area, and I can't even begin to tell you what that does to people around here. We are elated. The sky is blue, the air is dry, we're bringing out our fall colors, and that means a couple of different things. First of all, I've been combing through pages of magazines looking for new fall trends, and the one thing that I'm seeing everywhere is that plum and various shades of purple seem to be all the rage in makeup color these days. Also, it seems gray is the new black, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But in the meantime, this inspired me to do a little bit of shopping today. So I went out to one of my favorite stores. That's right, I went to MAC and I picked up a ton of colors today. One little trick that I learned throughout the years is a lot of makeup artists will use MAC for television, commercials, um, news, on air, film, because the pigmentation in the MAC product is so great, meaning a little goes a long way and the color that you see in the palette truly comes across on the skin. So I knew when I wanted to do some shopping today for fall trends, I knew exactly where I was going to go and I'm going to do a tutorial in your very eyes and see how we like it. It could go one of two ways. It could either be a great thing or it can be a disaster. <laughs> Hopefully I chose the right colors and let's see how it all turns out. You ready? In the name of saving time, I decided to do my foundation already and I've already done my eyebrows and I did my contouring and highlighting so we can just get right to the color. Look what I found. This is a quad that I built while I was at the MAC store. The lighter shade, which is right there, is Naked Lunch. Mmm, sounds fun. Um, Fig is the next one. That's the medium purple right here. This reddish purple is called Sketch, and then the darker one is Indian Ink. So we're going to play around with these colors and see what we come up with today. Obviously, I'm going to start with a lighter color, and I'm going to use my wider brush. Okay, I'm going to apply this to my brow bone to start. It's got some shimmer to it, and I'm going to bring it down on the inside corner of my eye and do the same on the other side. Okay, so you can see the highlighting that's been done. I think I'm going to have fun with this reddish purple choice, which is the one I put next to Naked right here. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bring that into my crease area. Oh yeah, I think I'm liking it. So I'm going in the crease, going a little bit higher here on the outer corner of the eye. Kind of widens it, gives a little bit of a cat eye look without being too bold and obnoxious during the daytime. Don't want that. Save that for Halloween. That's coming up. Again, going out on the outer corner. You know, you just can't go wrong with these colors. Um, if you have hazel or green eyes, plums really bring out that color. Okay, so far so good. I think I'm liking this. This is a nice shade. Actually, you know what? That was fig. My bad. That was fig that I used. Okay, I need to get my color straight. Now I'm going to go to sketch, which is the reddish purple. All right, so I just used fig in the crease, and then here's sketch. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I'll get with the program today, I promise. I'm going to do that again in the crease, but now focus on the outer, outer portion in here along the crease line. Sort of carving out that hollow area giving it some depth and going out on the side, a nice little angle. I'm getting there. All right, now I'm going to play around with this darker purple, this Indian ink here, and uh, kind of work that on the outside and along the lash line and see what I think about that. And I'm using a real skinny brush to apply. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, just deepening the outer corners. Coming out to a little bit of angle, a little triangle in the corner, and just right here along my lash line and finishing up on the other side. Okay, um, from here I'm going to now line the inside of my eyes. I'm going to stick with my brown tart color that I showed you before and I'm going to go on the inner rim, both bottom and top. You know me. I like that smoky eye. I've lined the rim and I've got a black liquid um, 
tensile. And this is from Revlon. And I'm just gonna go across the uh, top lash now. Keeping really close to the lash line. Coming out just a little bit on the sides. And then we're gonna smooth all this down with our uh, eyeshadow brushes in shadow again. And then we're gonna smooth all this down with our uh, eyeshadow brushes in shadow again. To make it smoky and to pull the color down, I'll use this um, brush that I showed you before, the firmer one, and I will pick Pick a plum, any plum. I think I'll do Fig, which was the lighter of the purple. And uh, it has a little more of a brown in it, so I'm going to use that and I'm gonna smudge right here on my bottom lash line. Softening it up, getting rid of any harsh lines. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the darker, the Indian ink, and go across my top lash line where I did the black. Finishing up with the Indian ink on top of my black here. Give it a little bit more of a purple tone. And this is sort of the point where I assess and I feel if I need to add anything. Pop in a little bit more purple up top. I'm gonna show off these new fall colors. I'm digging them. I've got nothing to hide. I hope you're enjoying, by the way, fall weather wherever you are. I know it's different in different parts of the country and the world, but we just got our first cool front, bona fide cool front of the season. And boy, is it feeling great outside. I've got a feeling everybody's gonna be bringing out the black leggings. You know that happens. The minute the temperature drops, we're all in black leggings. Gets to be, you know, 85 during the day, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're in our black leggings. And I look underneath my eye. If there's anything that fell below, this is a good chance to take that wide brush I was telling you about and just clean up under the eye. I got a new mascara, by the way, from MAC. In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. Let's give it a try. I said it lengthens, thickens, is super black. So let's see if, uh, if it gives me the look of falsies. I, you know, I'm still probably gonna use my little falsie extension anyway, because that's just what I do. I like how, I don't know if you can see, but I really like how, how black it is. Okay, pretty rockin' mascara. This is good stuff. Okay, bottom. Okay, eyes are done. I am, I am liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking these colors and products. This is, this is a happy day in my bathroom. Let me zoom back out, okay? We're gonna try Plum Foolery today. Let me open it up so you can see the color really well. A little purple, but it's got a tiny bit of shimmer to it. Again, I contoured already, so I'm just going right on my cheekbone. And it's looking like a kind of a nice light purple. A little bit of warmth in it, which is good. You don't wanna lose that and, and be too cool in your you don't want to be too cool, y'all. <laughs> you can tell I'm from Texas. All right, done with that. Moving on to lips. I've got a MAC pencil in Spice, which is a very, very neutral, natural type color. I think what I love about that is you can go any way in your lipstick color. If you stick to a very neutral lip pencil, you can go dark, you can go light, and it all works. Okay, lip color. Hold on just a second. Oh, sequin. Lip color is in sequin. See, I wrote everything on my phone. Cheating. It is sort of like the cheek color. It's got a little bit of iridescence to it. I can't wear too dark of a lipstick because my mouth is as big as it is. <laughs> I've got a big mouth. And when I go really dark with my lipstick, it all you see is mouth. So this is kind of a happy medium. I like it. Let me come in close again. We have our completed look. We conquered the purples and had fun with um, some of Fall's new trends. And I had a chance to play around in my bathroom and experiment. So hopefully in the end, we decide that we like this and we'll continue on with our plums through the fall season. I hope you enjoyed my video. Remember, you can always follow me on social media as well as KPRC Local 2 at 5, 6, and 10. Click to Houston.com streams our newscast. So if you don't live in the Houston area, you can always watch me there. In the meantime, go out with your plum face, be bold, be blessed, and I'll see you in a week.